Can I ask you a question, sis? What's the hype? I mean, seriously. What is the pandemonium about this fragrance? Cause sis, I don't get it. What's up guys, it's your girl Nick and I am back with another video. So guys, I was not gonna do this video, but you know what? I did it. Look, Bath and Body Works haul. I picked up all seven, nine, whatever. All of the fragrance mist from fall. You guys have been hyping this up. I have been seeing this everywhere. So girl, I had to come see what the tea was for myself. So if you are new to my videos, hey, my name is Nikki. And if you're an oldie, hey girl, what is up? Let's see if these fall fragrances are everything you guys have been hyping it up to be. And if not, I'm gonna call you out on the girl. I'm gonna tell you the truth. So if you like hygiene videos, smell good videos, motherhood, lifestyle, all of the above, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Okay guys, so let's just get straight into it. There are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fragrances that were released for fall. Actually, I kind of think there were nine, but one of them I already could tell off the bat I was not interested in, so your girl didn't pick it up. And I believe that was like the sweet cinnamon pumpkin or something like that was not interested i did go ahead and pick up all the other ones so we're gonna get into it and we're gonna see if they are worth the hype so we're just gonna pick them up and start going so here we go the very first one guys that we're gonna be testing out is the bonfire bash it has notes of vanilla bourbon creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk so this is what it looks like Okay, straight out of the nozzle, I like it. I can almost smell like a a warm, fiery note. I wonder if that's the cashmere musk. I don't know, but let's just spray it. Okay. Oof, kind of alcoholy, but let's give it a give it a few more seconds. Okay, guys, this one is actually very warm and cozy. Um, definitely, I think what I'm smelling is that cashmere musk. Definitely can smell the sandalwood. You guys know I love a good sandalwood. And honestly, guys, it smells like fire. Is that weird? Like, it smells... It genuinely smells like a bonfire. Like, how they did that, I don't know. It's actually kind of cool. But I literally feel like I'm sitting in front of a bonfire. And, like, the smoke and the heat that you get off of a bonfire... They literally captured that in this bottle. That is so crazy. So this definitely screams fall. Definitely screams like a warm, cozy kind of night. Yeah, I can do this one. This one, you guys did good. This one I can keep. And I don't feel like I have to take this one back. So the next one that I'm going to try out, guys, is the Sweet Whiskey. This has notes of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berry. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Out of the nozzle, I like it. I definitely can smell the red berries. Um... It's not bad. I thought I was going to like this one a little bit more than I do. So that's a little disappointing. But guys, it's not bad. It really does smell really good. Maybe it's that whiskey that I'm picking up. There's kind of a really strong note in here. It almost seems as if it could lean unisex to me. Because there's something strong and like heavy about it. But still sweet and light. Like, does that make sense? It's definitely um, a unique one to me. I'm kind of on the fence about this one, guys. Like, I really wanted to like this one. I thought this was hands down going to be my favorite one. And honestly, to me, it's just like, eh. I can take it or leave it. This is the one that I feel like I have to have in my collection, which totally sucks because a lot of people are, like, dying to get their hands on this one because they missed it, like, the first time it came out. I didn't even know this one existed. So, I'm glad I got it. Like, I'm not mad at the fact that I picked it up, but I don't know if I'm going to be reaching for it. I don't hate it but I don't like absolutely love it either but it's still a keeper so the next one we have guys is ivory cashmere and this has notes of fresh lakeside air silver musk and white amber if you know me you know and why do I feel like yep oh my god 
God, I'm so one dimensional, guys. That sucks. This is my staple. Guys, this one is so good. Ivory cashmere is definitely a must. Definitely at the top of my list right now. I still get that warm and cozy, guys. But it also has something like very fresh about it. The lakeside air. Duh. Yeah, this is this is my top contender right now. Yep. Ivory cashmere. Did I show you guys what it looked like? I'm sorry. I'm so rude. There you go. Ivory cashmere. Definitely a staple. Get this one. So the next one we have is raspberry chiffon. This has notes of black raspberry, ice peach, and whipped sugar. I don't know, guys. I have been hearing mixed reviews about this one. I kind of feel like this one is going to be very similar to pink chiffon. And I would be right out of the nozzle. Very fruity. I don't know if this says fall to me. Okay. Not that I don't like it. It smells very similar to pink chiffon. And honestly, I don't see this as a fall fragrance. Like, nothing about this to me says fall. Like, am I the only one? Like, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on raspberry chiffon. It's not a bad scent, like, whatsoever. But it definitely does not scream fall to me. And honestly, guys, if you have pink chiffon, I hate to say this, but you you kind of almost don't need this. Like, this might be one that's going back because I just feel like it's already have something that smells like this. Or maybe I'll just trade it and get it in the mini size. This just does not scream, like, warm and cozy to me. It just is sweet and, like, cutesy. And right now... I don't want to be sweet and cute. I want to be snuggled up, okay? Okay? This is not a must-have for me. So, not unique enough to be a must-have in my collection. So, this one will probably go back. Sorry. Next up, I have Wrapped in Sunshine. The notes in this one are Golden Citrus, White Peach, and Blonde Woods. Y'all know how I feel about citrus. But I love peach, though. So, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, girl. Hold on. I'm going to try it. No. God, that sucks. Because I was so excited about the peach in this. I love peach. And I can smell the peach, but I don't like the citrus in this. Guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Nope. Wrapped in sunshine is not it. This is not. It. This is not it. I don't like this one. This one is definitely going back. I like the white peach in it. I can smell the peach, but everything else that's happening is unfortunately a no. Mm -mm. So the next one we have is Crisp Morning Air. This has notes of crisp fall breeze, golden amber wood, and juicy apple. So this is what that one looks like. Out of the nozzle, not really getting anything. Just give it a spritz. Oh my God. Guys, this is a little bit more fall, but oh my God. This reminds me of like fall scented dish detergent. I feel like I should wash my dishes in this. I'm so disappointed. Like, this is not what I was expecting. I don't like this, guys. Oh, oh my God. It's almost giving me a headache. Oh my God. This is disappointing. This, this is a no. This is another no. This isn't even a maybe. Like, this is just straight up. This is just straight up no. I'm so disappointed. Like, guys. 
I am so disappointed. Like, I only have two left. And I literally only like, like, one of these. Did I miss the memo? Clearly, I did not understand the assignment. Because, personally, I am super disappointed. Because, so far, these suck. I'm just saying. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you guys my opinion. I'm not a fan of these right now. But, ugh. So, the next one we have is probably the most hyped up one, which is Fairy Tale. This has notes of pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. The packaging on this one, guys, is super pretty. It almost looks like something out of a fairy tale. But, you guys, like, this has been hyped up so much. So, if this is not giving what it's supposed to be giving, girl. Mm. Let's see. Because I'm so not impressed. Y'all don't kill me, okay? I know this is a cult favorite. But can I ask you a question, sis? What's the hype? I mean, seriously. What is the pandemonium about this fragrance? Because, sis, I don't get it. I... Clearly, I'm not understanding the assignment right now. Guys, I mean, it's okay. It's still not like, oh my god, I have to have this. It's definitely a little bit more fall-ish scented. But you guys had me thinking this was like a banger, like you're the one. This is like you're the one's like wannabe little cousin. First time removed. She's okay. Like, she's not... I don't know what you guys are getting from this, but she's not giving to me. I wouldn't write home about her. Maybe I'll keep it for the packaging just to say that I have it. Maybe it'll grow on me later. But for me, fairy tale is not it. Sorry. Oh god, like now I'm really starting to get a headache, guys. Like, I don't know. Maybe I need to wear it on the skin to get a better idea. But like just in the bottle, out of the nozzle, like I'm I miss something. And if that's the case, I'm okay with it. I don't mind missing this train because this for me ain't it okay guys so i'm down to my last one which is autumn violet the notes in this one are violet petals wild fig and velvet vines um this one isn't bad. It's a lot softer. I don't know if it screams fall to me. Well, mm, kind of, but... Guys, this isn't a must-have for me either. Like, what the deuce? I am extremely disappointed. Like, after my last Bath & Body Works haul, like, I was so hyped to get some new fragrances but honestly i am just so unimpressed right now and highly disappointed like i thought they were really going to be coming with some bangers for the fall and they're just okay i literally have like two of them that i'm probably definitely going to keep and one of them is a maybe which is fairy tale and the other ones like no i am so disappointed guys what what is this see i should have stuck with my first instinct something told me not to buy these that i was not gonna like them based off the notes but i wanted to give it a try i definitely wanted to make a video for you guys but i can tell you right now i'm probably gonna keep two of these and the other ones i'm either gonna take back or give away so somebody might just get lucky because they're not staying in my collection to me they're not a must-have i don't think they're worth the hype sorry please don't hate me don't hate my video it's just my opinion girl if you love them do you boo if you love them you wear them you rock them i'm sure they're amazing on you just not on me maybe we'll have better look for the christmas launch i saw some that i was really interested in i'm dying to get my hands on so fingers crossed we'll have a better reaction for the christmas launch but 
fall launch so not impressed so guys that is my video for today i am so sorry that it was kind of like a bummer or a downer or deadbeat whatever I'm truly disappointed. Um, please comment down below and let me guys know how you felt about this collection. Like this video, share this video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. You know my goal. We're all guys. We're almost halfway there. Like I want to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. By December, I want to have a thousand subscribers, and I can only do that with you guys so please guys help me reach my goal make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment down below and let me know seriously how you guys felt about this fall collection and which one out of this collection is your favorite okay so that is it until my next video i love you Mwah. mean it bye